three string guitar. I um, just want to show it to you guys. Relatively simple construction. Um, so we've got our tuners, a uh, pack of six for ten bucks on Amazon. Um, we've got our nut, which is a um, part of a carriage bolt that I cut off. Uh, the, the neck is just a piece of pine and um, it's cut in two places. Uh, it ended up being this way. This was not the original design, but uh, it's just epoxy together here. And um, the strings are fishing line. We've got 30 pound, 15 pound, 8 pound. So, um, and then we've got the uh, ring bolt here. Um, that's pretty standard too. And then the body is a um, uh, tin of chocolates, tin of candies. Um, I cut the sound hole and also the holes for the uh, wood to pass through um, uh, with a Dremel tool. So um, a Dremel with a cutoff tool, all right? And then the strings themselves are held on by um, screws. There's little loops tied in the end of the strings and they just hook onto the screw heads there. And that's basically pretty much it. Um, doesn't take much time to make. Uh, so just to take a, um, let me zoom in here, just to take a closer look at the um, action here. So you can see that these guys could these um, tuners could sit a little bit lower so the angle of the string is more drastic but as it is it, it seems to be okay if uh, the nut is far enough back and then the action itself is um, I don't know maybe a little bit less than a quarter inch but there's quite a bit of space here so if you were gonna use your fingers um, which I, I you know haven't learned how to do yet but uh, it'd be hard to use your fingers. Um, it might do to uh, put some wood as a spacer, so I kind of toyed around with sticking uh, uh, this ruler that I got um, in between here to reduce the height between the strings and the wood. Um, I'm playing with a slide now, so I really, don't really need that. Um, uh, I guess that's pretty much, pretty much it. Okay, so also, um, at the top here, I've got two popsicle sticks running parallel that are stuck on by double-sided tape. And the reason for that is this is kind of thin and it was having this high pitch vibration. And, uh, but uh, double sticking the um, popsicle sticks seems to have taken care of that. So um, that's pretty much it. It took me about an afternoon to build. Um, I did need I did need a Dremel tool, um, which is, you know, it's like you have to pay $60 for it or whatever, but if you don't have access to that, probably could have done this with hand tools, especially if I had a pair of tin snips. Um, but if you don't have a Dremel tool, you can think about using a wooden box for this uh, type of project. Um, all right, so thanks for uh, Checking it out, here's another tune for you.